Clendon here with Clendon.com and of course the house of biceps. I am here with Olympian Norik Vardanian. Uh, absolutely great guy and he is doing us all a big favor today. He's answering your questions from the Facebooks. All right, Johnny has a good question here. He says, how much do you think of the total training volume that you do should be spent on the actual competition lifts? Uh, and does this change during a basic training versus competition preparation? Um, okay, I'll start with the second part of the question first. It does change uh, for the competition preparation and the basic preparation. Uh, during the basic preparation, there's a lot more strength exercises, a lot of squats, a lot of pulls, uh, maybe deadlifts, uh, presses, um, push presses, everything. Um, that's what I like to do when during my basic preparation. I like to get the strength down first, and then uh, when it's near competition, about two months out, three months out, is when I start doing more of the lifts. Um, but as long, uh, along with the strength exercises and the preparation, the b basic preparation, um, I also do a lot of lifts as well, but not full snatch and full clean and jerks. I like to do the exercises that I mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. like the medium grip snatching, snatching without thigh brush, snatching with no hook grip, work on the grip strength um, so that way because if you're just doing squats and pulls and deadlifts right th you're gonna lose that technique right you know what I mean you're gonna get strong your muscles are gonna develop and you might feel a little stiff when you start snatching and Absolutely. clean and jerking Absolutely. you know what I mean your strength Absolutely. might go up but your lift will stay the same right so you got to throw in some lifts variations hang snatching uh, muscle snatching a lot of different exercises but in the competition preparation, um, snatching and clean and jerking a lot more. Every day snatch and clean and jerk. Um, one day lighter, one day heavier. Obviously, you're not trying to go heavy all the time. Um, let's say in the off season, um, with no contest directly inside or a contest six months away, how much of your training, let's say time, Maybe maybe it's better to look at it as hours in the gym, okay. not just sets and reps, but hours okay. in the gym. Okay. The percentage of the hours in the, you should spend in the gym, would you spend on uh, squats and pulls and things like that versus uh, just the competition snatch, the competition clean and jerk? Okay, um, I think uh, if you're if you don't have a competition in about six months, like you said, um, I would say forty percent on the lifts, sixty percent on. Uh, the strength exercises or other exercises. Um, but when it comes to uh, the competition preparation, I think it should be 65% lifts and then 35% uh, the strength exercises. Now, how does this change? I mean, because you, you work, you've worked with a lot of athletes and I've seen you work with, with lots of athletes between myself and then actually athletes here, and, uh, Swedish athletes and, and that sort of thing. But how do you think that percentage changes when you're working with an advanced athlete who, let's say, technically knows the lift, okay. um, versus someone who is still learning technically on the lift. And I, we talked about this earlier, everybody is still learning technically. Yeah. Even even the national athletes or the international athletes, they're still learning technically. Yes. But someone who is more proficient, um, I mean, should the majority of my training still be technical work? Uh, core lift from the floor? Yeah, yeah, for a beginner weightlifter, I think they should always always focus on technique always because you can always get stronger getting stronger is the easy part it's it's easy to go in the gym and squat and pull and get strong it's hard to get the technique down i know a lot of very strong people who cannot lift <laughs> very heavy snatch and clean jerk you know what i mean um so that's a very good question that you asked and uh if the lifter has good technique i would say still do the lifts obviously but focus a little bit more on the strength mm -hmm. if you got the lifts down. So that, that's what I do. Like right now I'm doing a lot more of the strength exercises like you've, you've mm -hmm. been seeing me do, right. a lot of muscle cleans, push presses, um, because the technique is okay. The technique is there, so I don't think too much about that now. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, and if they have it down, they're not going to forget the technique right. very soon. Right. But like I said, you have to still do it. Like a muscle snatch still helps your technique. You don't have to always do a full snatch and a full clean and jerk to learn technique. You can use other exercises to help maintain the technique, so then you can focus on strength as well as doing technique work. 
Sounds good. So always work on your weakness, whatever that is. Always work on Spend your weakness. Spend the majority of your time working which on your weakness. Which no one likes to work on their weakness. Absolutely Everyone, not. If someone is good doing jerks from the racks, <laughs> they will always do jerks from the racks. Absolutely. You ask them what exercise they want to do, they want to do jerk from of the course. racks. Of course. Of course. But they never want to do snatches from the blocks, let's say. Of course. They're weak at that. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs>